Hey there, uh, it's Jack, and welcome to my first episode of uh, Thursday, I mean Tuesday 20s, and yes, I know it's a Wednesday today, but deal with it. Anyway, uh, let's get started. So, corner memo, uh, HF. Um, oh, yeah, this corner memo is a lot weirder than the ones you've seen before, so it might be a bit hard to connect with me, but um, this is just kind of what I did. So, like in my home there's like a bike with the brand huffy and it's like hf so i sort of thought that bike even though i use bike for the letter pair bi and um yeah i'm not sure why i just i don't know why but i tend to do something weird in every one of these episodes anyway yeah i use a bike bicycle even though i usually use that for bi and yeah a new cycle so i went to here as it's the only like u face thing that's not used so cp I usually think of like a hero with a cape on and that hero being like whatever follows, the pair that follows after that. So like cape, then OL. Um, this is one of my bad pairs. I only know like old for that as that's an adjective so um, it's going to be really hard to explain. <laughs> and I just go to here to finish the cycle to a J. So um, even though I usually think of J McNeil when I do J and Y, I just kind of did it for this one because uh, it's just one of those weird things. Plus, it's pre blind, so even if the memo is sort of messed up, it still kind of works out for me anyway. So, there's sort of like a bicycle and there's sort of a flying old J McNeil like fl hovering like over the sky, and there's a bike, like the bicycle's like watching it. Yeah, you won't be able to play with this at all, but. Uh... Yeah, whatever. Anyway, S, X. I think I use sax for this one. N, B, nib. Oh, I can't remember if you use six or sax. I think it's sax. Sax, nib. Poo. Uh, P, H, so poo. Lock. And A. And I saw, um, no, this one solved throughout the memo. So yeah, 10 7 scramble, which isn't bad at all. Anyway, uh, I'll execute it now. So, SX. So this one, I move this piece up to here. Then interchange, move back. It's one of the more common ones. Then NB. So I move this into here. Then insert this in the back. Move that out and it's in now. Uh, PH, this one Jay taught me. I can use like a wide move to put this in here. E2, and I'll do that. E2, so that's solved. And that one, uh, LC, so I didn't lock for that one. So this one I learned from Tomoya, actually. So, uh, yep, use that to set up to the 5 mover. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, okay, that's the original, so then I use this 5 mover to cut those two, and A. Uh, this one's just a cool log. Probably where it works, so. Uh, yeah, anyway, HF. So the bicycle, which I normally don't use for that, but I just kind of did. Uh, yep, so just set up to, um... A commutator, that's totally helpful, whatever. CP, this is one of the easy ones. Put that in there. Then, O, so old. This one I set up using F prime, then move that there. Interchange, that undo your setup. And J. Uh, this one, yeah, instead of doing, for example, an R2 and do that to set up to a Y perm, which is what I used to do. Sort of set up to like a J perm. And undo. I think I yeah, keep um the rotate like that and undo from there. Wait, that's not right. That's right. Okay, cool. Um I don't know how much sense that made, but um Yeah, there's a few tricks I sort of learned from two tricks in the uh not tricks but like comms I learned from other people in the edges, which was interesting. Plus my um lol memo for corners, but uh 
hey, it's a 28.05, which is my PB on cam. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll start making more Tuesday 20s, and hopefully I'll actually make them on a Tuesday this time around. Uh, yeah, peace.